spoke a different language. So God's a God of many colors, many races, languages, and I think to a degree man and woman, because that's just what God is, because God created man and created woman. Everything is in this world is male and female. If you think about it, Steve, when you plug your headphones into your cell phone to listen to your music, that cell phone plug is a male. That f- other plug that you're plugging it into is a female. See what I'm saying? Everything right. in this world is male and female. All right. So here's a good question, too. Uh, an alien, for instance, right? Okay. Is Could that be an angel God? God created everything in the universe. Or it could be the devil. I think it's the devil because I specifically don't believe in aliens per se. But it could be the devil trying to trick us into making us think there's aliens so we can be distracted from doing what God wants us to do. To the words, aliens could be here now. Look like, well, yeah, American and angels were taking form of humans too. Yes, and I mean, there could be aliens because the Bible does say that the devil, well, I already know too, specifically the well, devil. There's, there's somewhere in the Bible and... Somewhere in the Bible, they're talking about aliens and creatures and everything else. But we're not getting off the subject. Just, just give another thought of, you know, thought, you know. Right. What, we I ask gonna, what I was going to say is we know the devil's already tried tampering with cloning. Because he's, he's tried with the sheep. Remember the sheep that they were they're cloning that they couldn't get exactly right? Right. And there are beings that come out of the North Pole, according to the Prophecy Club, which was a, a, a group that Tom used to listen to. And I still do, to a degree, listen to the Prophecy Club that said that they have footage of these gray beings coming out of the North Pole, out of the Earth. And what they call it is is the Nephilim, or the, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? There's the Nephilim no. and the... I don't know. There's a, can't, I... there's a word. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'll remember it eventually. But it's, it's part of the Nephilim and the stuff like that, and they're all evil beings that the devil's tried to recreate as humans, but can't do exactly that. Because some of them were born with 10, 12 toes and 15 fingers and weird stuff like that. So you know what's going on if that's the case. Now, I mean, right, you, mess around. you know what's going on. You're messing around with <laughs> example. But yeah, they're called the Nephilim or something. I remember eventually. Yeah. But... Like I was saying, the devil can recreate things, not exact, but close to it. Remember, yeah. God created correct. God Excuse created me. himself, his own image, perfect. Oh, I know. God said, let us create man in our perfect image. Amen. So, like I was saying, we need to be renewed in God because we need to have that fresh one because we can't go out there and we can't be preaching about God if we're not if we don't have that fresh wine in us. If the right. only thing we go out there and do every day of the week is say, you know, God died for our sins, God died for our sins, God died for our sins, God died for, that's great that you're saying that. And I mean there are you people say, that still need to hear it, but where's the fresh word? Where's the new word? That not only did God go, die saying, for our ah. sins, but God loves us and did it out of his own will because to show us his true love. Where is that at? That's what I'm asking. Where's the new fresh wine so here, word? So here's a refreshing wine, right? Yep. A refreshing wine. And and let's ask asking people out there, now Andrew hit it earlier, we talked about that before. What does a refreshing wine mean to you? To me? Refreshing wine. To a baby wine. Christian. <clears throat> what does refreshing wine mean to a baby? That means a new creature in Christ. Right. But also, what does it go with it? Baptism. Right. But it's refreshing wine for a baby Christian is refreshing word from God. Absolutely. It's like I said, it's, it's that new word that God's revealing to us. See, and here's the question I was about to ask you. Is the rainbow word refreshing wine? Definitely it is. Because every time God speaks to Rhema, 
he speaks a new word. See the man. Can you imagine, can you imagine drinking uh, the refreshing wine or the cup of Jesus at his table? Oh, I know. Well, fresh wine, extra fresh wine means besides the blood, but it's also a part of what the bread, the wine, right. the water with, with, with the wine. But to make the story short, you know, it's the blood of Jesus. It's the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, basically. So we were baptized for the dead, you know, for example. I say it right, Lord. Well, yeah, we're, yeah, we're baptized from the dead, and we're, we're, we're refreshing to new life. And like I said in my word, in the, in the message that God gave me, we are out with the old and in with the new. Right, Steve? Definitely. Because that refreshing wine takes the old, gets rid of the old, and brings in the new. Because it's not just an old word. Don't get me wrong. There are some great old words from the Old Testament that you should definitely be reading following and doing because it's great and it's great stuff but let me ask you a question if we're and don't get me wrong i love you know people i got some friends of mine who are jewish like lonnie and them we know lonnie and lonnie's jewish and great great guys but if we keep keep dwelling in that jesus died jesus died jesus died he hasn't came back yet if we keep, keep dwelling in that like they like some of them do then we're not in the new wine. We're in the old wine. See what I'm saying? We're not a new word yet because we don't think that it's happened yet. We don't think that Old Testament has came into the new yet because God, according to that, has not came back yet. Therefore, that New Testament shouldn't be there. But see, he came back, and that's the new word. That's the new wine that God is giving us because he came back. The new wine was the new wine was at the Last Supper when Jesus Christ died on the cross. Right, but but they forget. See, the Old Testament was what was the old wine. Yeah, but that's good. Well, let's see. I was going to say it, but it's, the, it's the, also the old covenant. The yeah, old covenant. You know, it's between God, it was between God and man at the same time. Right. The and they put Jesus Christ in the world, for right. example. The New Testament is where he's all spirit now. All right. Amen. Yeah. Well, see, see the Jew, oh, I was going to say the Jewish people don't realize that Jesus Christ gave you the Holy Spirit. Right. It's him. And now, they don't realize that the Holy Spirit is God because God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit all at the same time. So here's the Father was already here. Example. They had a son which came, but they were thinking, okay, and what the Holy Spirit is, you know, it's of God, you know. Right. We are talking about the teaching and what's what went wrong and all that and everything else. Oh, we're not trying to dwell on it. But uh, people got to realize we preached about it last week. We preached it about a couple of weeks ago. And we're trying to make a point. Really a point for people out there to realize you have to get yourself right with God. He had to come to the. He had to come to Jesus Christ to the Father. Right. Yeah. I'm up. So the the like I was trying to say real quick, the Old Testament is what we used to do, what God used to do. It's all in the past. Now the New Testament is what's, like the Bible says, the straightforward that we got to focus on. Correct. Correct. Something? Yeah, my cousin's uh, on the other end. She had a few thousand one questions. I'd rather get off the radio right now, probably. Well, you're fine, Prophet Steve. Well, we thank you again for uh, being here with us tonight. We were on this show for 1 hour, 39 minutes, and 43 seconds. So let's pray real quick before we leave. Uh, just let her know you're praying real quick, and then you're done. But let's pray real quick, Amen. Lord. We thank you that we got together the Bible says we're two or more gathering your name here in my inner midst. We thank you, Lord, that we can, we can come to you together, Lord, as one body, as one body of believers come to you and learn about your word and learn about the new word, the new fresh anointing that you want to give to us. 
We thank you, Lord, that you are continuing to do what you're going to do with this new fresh word, Lord, that this fresh word is, is going to be so overwhelming, Lord, that we won't even know what we want, what we have to do with the Lord. It's going to be so overwhelming, Lord, that we are going to come to you and say, God, this is, this is something that I've never seen or heard. What are we to do with this, Lord? And Lord, we ask you to write this message on the tablets of our heart that when we depart, it will not depart from us. I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone at the sound of my voice that it not be selfish, not one of those. I want a 2121 car because I want one. Rather, I need a car to get to point A, to point B, to work, to church. Even if it's just go hang out with a friend and have coffee or play video games and talk about God. Give it to them, Lord. Give them their heart's desires. I also ask you, Lord, to pray for everyone and heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet from diabetes and cancer and, you know, scoliosis and multiple sclerosis and MD. And yes, Lord, even the, you know, AIDS and HIV and gonorrhea. Why, Lord? Because when you heal them, then it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. I ask you to heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet. Finish your prayer, Steve. Lord Father God, we we are just thankful for everything you have done today, Lord Father God. Yes, Father. And give you the glory and praise to you, Lord Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's give the Lord one more clap offering on that note. Amen. Amen. Shekinah glory to him. Absolutely. Shekinah glory. That is right. Well, Steve, we thank you once again for being here with us. And we're, I'm going to be doing something tomorrow. My listeners don't know this yet, but I'm going to say it now. I'm going to be doing somewhat of a, what I call a breakfast hack tomorrow on the show. I'm going to be giving a recipe out, but I'm also going to be doing some praise and worship as well. So feel free to stop by tomorrow, too, as well, if you have the time to. Andrew. What's up? Did you ever have anybody come in as a cusper and you preach the word of God at, at Wendy's? As in a customer, as in from the radio show? Radio show or just a customer, not while you're off work. Or about off work. Yeah. So in other words, you could do live broadcasting there and be a bear witness to it. In Jesus' name, amen. We could, but there's there's music playing in the background. That's the copyright thing. Right. Too loud, was, huh? Yeah, way <laughs> too loud. I mean, I mean, you can hear it crystal clear. So, but All right. we thank you again, Steve. We hope that you can uh, join us again tomorrow as we continue to worship God tomorrow. And I'll give out a quick recipe, and we'll do something fun. How's that sound? Amen. And we'll probably do that a little earlier than 6 o'clock, so that way you can have a full segment with us. But again, thank you, Steve, for joining us for today's message. And I'm glad we got to talk about that fresh word, because that's what we need, that fresh word. Is it not, Steve? Yes, we do. Refreshing. Time's refreshing. That's what it says. Absolutely. So, as always, Steve, and this is I love this, because I... My wife always says, this is too long, but I love this. But this, once again, Steve, is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings. And three, in all your ways, acknowledge him. The Bible says that when you confess with your tongue that he is faithful for, faithful to forgive your sins, and every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So, Trust the Lord in all your ways. Lead not to your own understandings in three in all your ways. Confess or acknowledge I, him, and he shall direct your path. Steve, and I say you. this. Go ahead. Thanks, God. It's forever and ever. Amen. And thank you. Well, ah, I think I could lose my train of thought. Anyways, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trust the Lord in all your ways. This is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings, and three, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Steve, thank you, and. And. Night. Oh, and don't forget to give us a shout, a holler, a blessing, a praise. What's that number again? 1302-448-8443. Again, that's 1302-448-TGIF. Or Community Cloud. 222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. And what else? You give us a personally call? Absolutely. Call at 248 
1-248-0233. The phone number again is 1-248-759-0233.